high school girls basketball game in Washington State saw racism from Connell High School. These attendees made monkey sounds and gestures as the opposing team's black players were at the free throw line. Blatant racism that just makes you think no one wanted to confront this guy. The onslaught continues as two black players who happen to be sisters each attempt their shots for Zilla High School. The coach, Brandy Valdez, seen here, tells Connell's athletic director, quote, that was very racist. In the next video, after being confronted by Valdez, the AD, Stephen Pyatt, in the purple shirt, appears to either get on the phone with someone or, as the uploader alleges, pretends to be on it. He then walks past the Zilla team's bench and goes across from it. My guess after watching this numerous times is he is pondering what to do, when realistically it is simple. Stop the game, kick out the racist students from Connell, and warn the crowd there is zero tolerance. The video cuts out prematurely, and we have more information on what he did during the rest of the game. Pyatt would later apologize to the Zilla High School girls basketball players, its coaches, and community, saying you did not deserve this in any way, and no one should ever have to be subjected to what happened. He said in the formal apology, quote, I am sorry. Ismani Moctezuna, the older sister of the victims, spoke with local affiliate KNDO23. Quote, why the hell did no one stand up for these girls? I just don't understand why the AD didn't tell them to stop. Why didn't the referees stop the game or kick those boys out? I've seen people kicked out for way less, she asked. The Yakami Herald, as more video showed, him taking a phone call as in the AD and walking over to the side of the gym with the student section before sitting down to talk to someone else without addressing the crowd. He shouldn't have waited till the end of the game, said Moctezuna. I don't care if it was in the fourth quarter and there was only seven minutes left. I don't know when it happened, when he heard it, he should have stopped it. That goes for anything and anybody. If you see something, say something. This time, it was our girls, it was my sister, but tomorrow, it could be anybody. This led to the Franklin School District to launch an investigation via local affiliate 4 News Now. Their reporting on the matter laid out that Payette informed the superintendent and the school board of the incident. Interviews were conducted and meetings were held. The initial punishment for Connell was the following. Ty Kime, the South Central Athletic Conference president, said he and his fellow ADs decided by majority vote to ban Connell boys and girls basketball teams from competing in the league's postseason scheduled for June 8th. 10th and 12th. In addition, no Connell fans will be allowed to attend home or away competitions for the remainder of the school year. However, after an appeal, the postseason sanctions were overturned for both the boys and girls teams. It also overturned the banning of parents from the school. There was no evidence of basketball players or parents contributing to the racist acts, said WIAA. Still, the following sanctions would remain. Bias training for Connell students, staff, and administrators. Connell cannot host any games this year. The school is placed on one-year probation and will be given a $1,000 fine to be used by the school to develop sportsmanship, respect, and anti-bias behavior. We take these allegations seriously, and while we are unable to share disciplinary details due to privacy laws, we will assure appropriate consequences are administered, said Jim Jacobs, superintendent of the North Franklin School District, in a statement. Most importantly, they said the students who made these racist remarks will be appropriately punished. What exactly this entails was not made public. I know that what happened has caused an immense amount of pain to you as a player, coach, fan, family member, and community member, and I am deeply sorry, Payet said. Saturday's incident was similar to a situation at a Moses Lake basketball game in December 2019 when Moses Lake fans were accused of using racist language directed at a Davis player and his father. The Columbia Basin Big Nine affirmed its commitment as a leak to equality and against racism, but declined to take any further actions during an ongoing investigation.